Good morning, my friends. Uh, is it day three? I think it's day three. I'm, I'm doing better. I'm feeling a lot better. But this morning when I woke up, I really did not want to get up. I was just tired. We did a lot of walking yesterday and I had high heel boots and I was walking on a lot of rocks outside the Nuclear Science and History Museum. So yeah, my, my feet are just a little sore, but I'm running a little late. I already got my Starbucks. I'll eat some of it and start doing my makeup and then I'll head downstairs because I'm already ready, I already showered and got dressed. So, oh, and then when I went downstairs to go get my Starbucks, I had to fix my room key because last night, both keys would not open the door for my room. Went downstairs, they gave me new keys, came back up, both keys were not working. I had to go back down and then they had to send somebody from maintenance to basically uh, help me out with my keys. So I got one key, but I went back and returned the ones that weren't working. So everything's good now. I'm back in my room. But let me see if you can see that. I'm in my room right now, so you can't see the full thing of the mountains. But yesterday was beautiful walking um, through the museum and also seeing the scenery outside. So it's really beautiful. It's 29 degrees. It was really cold this morning. Another reason why I did not want to get up, but I'm up and I got to get going. So we'll see you in the next clip. So I already went downstairs. Um, I checked in, my mom just texted me. Um, I checked in on some of the panels, just walking around a little bit. Um, I got to talk to the new executive director for a little bit about the historian. And um, I've been sitting at the table. I was reading my master thesis a little bit. I need to do a lot of preparation today for tomorrow so I can prep a little bit more tomorrow. I haven't read that thing in like two years. So and then when I came up here, I wanted to re-glue -glue this lash. So I got to fix this little part right here and then go back downstairs. But there's not a lot to show today. For the most part, everybody's checked in. So and then tomorrow is the last day and that's when i'll be presenting so i will have a video of that i already got somebody to agree to record that so i'm excited hopefully i'll do well we came for the treats first yeah dessert first yeah uh, always because we missed the dessert yesterday we did it was very sad yeah and then we had to save a table for the staff. I just went to the gift shop um, in the hotel and I noticed they had all these little llama keychains. So, and a llama pen. So this one's for me. I bought this one for me and he's black. So um, this one's for my brother. So this is like Jiva Play Colors. This one is for my parents, it's in um, Argentina colors. This one is mine, TCU colors. And then all three of us, I got us Albuquerque, like shaped like New Mexico and Albuquerque on it. And then this one, I bought it for my mom. This little magnet here for my parents. And yeah, it's really, really cute. All right guys, literally day three. I'm so tired, I came to lay down um for a bit because pretty much like now students are just buying merchandise and there's nothing i can do because we have merch on display but we would have to ship it from tampa so they would purchase it you know with us and then we send it to them but um yeah panels are going on right now i've walked through a several of them but I'm just so tired right now. I want to finish editing my first day here. Uh, today I didn't do much. I did go to the post office to mail all the magnets and little llamas that I bought for my family. I don't want to put that in my suitcase. I'd rather just mail it now and, and have that be sent off. So yeah, that's really, really cute. Um, Just going to rest for a bit and then I got to get ready because we have um an event tonight that i need to attend so let's stay tuned for that all right guys i'm literally running so late look i had to bring out 
the iron and the board out. This is the dress. I tried to iron it as best as I could really quick. Um, I quickly did my hair. My makeup was already done. I had fallen asleep. I woke up at 5.15 and we had to be ready by uh, what time? Like 5.40. So two minutes before it was time. I'm literally wearing Sphinx underneath and a bodysuit. And yeah, I just like, I gotta hurry up. So I got my heels on. I think I should be good. It's I'm just tired, so I'm glad I got a little bit of sleep in when I could and then after we're done with the whole like little um, Party we're gonna have I gotta come back and I got to do the outline for my presentation and get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's when I present so To have all of you here. This is a really really fun uh, evening um, What we thought we do is I am gonna go downstairs in about two minutes and uh, you can expect me back up here in about five. Um, we're gonna use this door over here because it's, it's less apparent where we're going. Uh, but we need your help. So, so if we could keep it down in here, right? Uh, just until they come in. Uh, and I'll try to be loud in the hallway. It's just down here, Jack. And so when you hear something oh, yes, like that, that's your cue. Now, so what I'll do when I leave, if everybody can walk down this way, the incentive to come down here is not only is a surprise here, but all the appetizers are down here too. So. <laughs> individuals who have given their lives to this organization. We're here to celebrate their love for each other and their love for our society. Uh, Jack and Wendy Tunstall uh, are individuals who inspire other people. They inspire other people to be better people. And their relationship with each other inspires all of us to strengthen our interpersonal relationships. We're here to recognize two people who were married on that spot 25 years ago. I don't think they've changed the carpet. Uh, but, uh, we're, we're here to recognize you, but we're also here to recognize an individual for whom we really haven't had a chance to have a retirement party for. Wendy retired from 20... Two years, mm -hmm. 22 years, uh, both as the office manager and then as the interim executive director um, during the interim period between the last convention and this convention. And so we're here to say thank you to her, and at the same time, we're here to recognize a very important milestone in, in their lives. Now, enough of uh, stuff for me. I have one more surprise for you. <laughs> I have some messages here from individuals <laughs> who can't be here this evening. Um, and so I, I am going to read to you some, some messages from your children. So Jessica, Jessica writes, I'm not sure where to begin as I have so many wonderful memories of mom and Jack. 
Their teamwork, service, and devotion to Phi Alpha Theta over the years is paramount. I've had the pleasure of working with them over the past 15 years. I started as a part-time employee in 2001 while attending USF, and now today it is an honor to serve as the office manager. However, I will say I have big shoes, capital B-I-G, shoes to fill since Wendy did such an amazing job in her role as office manager. The biennial conventions hold a special place in my heart because of how Wendy and Jack brought everyone together, including the special friendships with those of you sitting in this room tonight. On a personal note, it is a true honor to call them my parents. I recall to my younger years, the first time I met Jack, he was wearing an X-Files hat. <laughs> to wit, why aren't you wearing that tonight? To which I said to my mom, hey, I think he likes X-Files too. <laughs> there was a twinkle in both of their eyes. And standing this close, it's still there. Uh, I remember the happiness he brought out in my mom. To this day, I credit them both for my knowledge of all the early 1990s love songs from John Cicada's Do You, Be do you Believe in Us? To Meatloaf, I Would Do Anything for Love. <laughs> Over the years, I really... It's the only time I've ever quoted Meatloaf. <laughs> they've, they've taught me that love is patient. They've taught me how important it is... Um, I'm sorry, I have to go back, I have to be low. Over the years, I realize I have a plethora of music knowledge that others don't seem to have because of their love. They've taught me that love is patient. They've taught me how important it is to laugh together. Their love is timeless, which speaks to one of Jack's favorite songs he likes to play for Wendy. It is called The End by Earl Grant. As I write this, I can envision him tearing up. <laughs> The positive impact they've had on so many people's lives is a testament to who they are as individuals as well as as a couple. Mom and Jack, I wish I could be in this room right now with you celebrating. Cheers to you both. I love you very much, Jessica. Aww. I have another Derek. <laughs> Mom and Jack, we wish you a happy anniversary from your family in Virginia. Hope you continue to enjoy time together in retirement. We wish all the best in health and happiness. Have a great trip remembering your special day. Love, Derek. <laughs> and I have one more. <laughs> I have a message from Alan. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. Alan writes, brevity, far from a strength area of mine, is my goal here. <laughs> With that comes the loss of incredibly descriptive analogies, seemingly never-ending stories and stories within stories, seemingly always enthralling to the point of realization and ending is either flat or simply forgotten. But I digress and have already breached the commitment to brevity. I would say we would not expect brevity from Jack's son. So it's, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. In all sincerity, I am so appreciative that Phi Alpha Theta leadership and everyone in this room has recognized Slim and Wendy. <laughs> Their commitment to the organization from the lens of a family member outside, the day-to-day -day rolling up of the sleeves and unable to truly appreciate all they have done to help lead you to where, you, to where and what you have become is nothing short of inspirational. I have seen these two and their unwavering commitment to do everything in their power and ability to demonstrate that commitment not by words alone, but importantly by action. I always consider what we do when people aren't looking, what is essentially invisible to others, as what truly defines the character of an individual. 
I have been able to see Slim and Wendy. I'm sorry, I can't say that without laughing. I have been able to see Slim and Wendy over the decades in ways invisible to you all. And it has left a lasting impression of hard work, dedication, commitment, and passion. Amazingly, they are still together as a couple. <laughs> For those that know the organizational abyss Slim embodies, if nothing else, it is even more of a louder toast to Wendy. While on the subject of their relationship, this has also served as a great inspiration to me personally and in my life and marriage. First of all, let's call a spade a spade. Wendy is nothing short of a saint. <laughs> Wendy is nothing short of a saint. Sorry, not that bared saying again. <laughs> Could you imagine your significant other, partner, or spouse unable to eat a meal of any type and not have portions of it colorfully end up on his or her clothing for you to, for you to notice and come to expect as a norm? <laughs> Side note: I bet a dollar on a dime if food has been served already, there is currently a stain on his person. <laughs> consistent with what was served. <laughs> or imagine this special person in your life leaving permanent stains of green ink on a beautiful new furniture piece of furniture, <laughs> despite putting down protective coverings to preemptively offset them. <laughs> as I write this, it is as if Wendy is caring for a child in many ways. <laughs> Bless your heart, Wendy. That patience, Wendy has hyper the patience that Wendy has hyper-demonstrated for decades is rivaled only by love that Slim has for her and that they have for each other. The love they share is something everyone in this room can learn from and apply in some way to your own lives. If you don't know them, it is worth finding them and having a short conversation. You will be better in some small way because of it and seeing how their love for each other and for this organization is a model for all of us to emulate in some small way. So, to Slim and Wendy, I love you both and could go on and on about all that impresses me about you, but brevity, brevity, <laughs> brevity. So if we can all, and this is how he ends it, so if we can all raise our glasses, and say to Slim and Wendy, <laughs> cheers. 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 Those are all the messages that I have. <laughs> if anyone from the floor would like to offer congratulations, this would be an appropriate time to do so. We had no money. I built a, a million and a half dollar foundation, but it's all because yeah, of this woman. She was business manager. We were in offices together for 20 some years, you know, and we never had a fight about it. And <laughs> <laughs> some of you know, I have a belt in Krav Maga and mixed martial arts, but she's half Sicilian, half German. I live in fear. <laughs> but Wendy has been the real power behind me. And I'll just tell you how we met this see. I can be sneaky at times. At Lafayette College in Eastern Pennsylvania, we were put on an honor board. And I was representing history and she was teaching German there. And as some people say, the handshake lasted a little bit longer than most handshakes. But afterward, I said, Wendy, I'm having trouble translating German. Because she, she, had, she had a German degree. I had already been in Vienna for a year and been translating for a year and a half. Wendy, I am having trouble translating. Will you help me? And that began the journey. This is the greatest woman in the world. And I, I was offered incredible teaching positions I turned down to stay with Phi Alpha Theta. And I've retired, happy with the organization, but I'm also proud. Stand up. This man I trust as a friend and know he will take Phi Alpha Theta into the future. So that's all I have to say, except I love this woman very much. Without her, I'd be nothing. Aww.